I think one of the things that we need to recognize about Solar is that modesty was never really a part of her artistry. When she wants to conquer something, she brings the entire cavalry. If she wants to say something, she serves it ice cold. And that's exactly what she did with this song. Now, when I first learned that Solar is going to come out with her own album, her own single, the first expectation, the, th the thing that I thought I was going to have is Solar's vocal power. She's one of the most powerful vocalists in, in K-pop right now, and she certainly has the arsenal for it. So she doesn't have any reason not to show it off. But instead, what I got was a laid back, relaxed, simple, but definitely confident expression of someone's guiding principle. The song is really talking about how somebody should just forget about the haters and live their life the way that they should be. There was this one part in her song that says, or I, I, can, I can get as much as I take. And I think it's a it's a, a beautiful beautiful message. It's really very simple. It's telling you just go for what you want, live your life, and don't don't care about the haters. You know they're always going to be hating. It's she didn't give anybody a chance to misinterpret the message that she was trying to deliver. And I feel like it's very solar. If you do watch um, some of her interviews, some of her, the, she has her own YouTube channel. If you watch that as well, you're going to observe that about her. She doesn't. She's very clear in the things that she says. That she and she makes it. I don't know if she's doing it unconsciously or if it is just her nature. But she does not allow people to misinterpret what she's say, what she's saying, and it's reflected in the lyrics. And I think there's beauty in that simplicity. Now, when it comes to the music, so the, the primary um, instrument that was used was percussion. I think there was a percussion and the bass. Driving me crazy. I, so cool on I It was a very interesting use of those combination because traditionally, conventionally, a, a percussion and a bass, if you mix them, especially if you mix them together, it's very hard it's very masculine it's very strong but if you juxtapose it with with the melody and her voice her voice is very smooth and very relaxed in this she belted out in one part but that's not even half of what she can do she can i mean if you allow her to belt out she's gone you know <laughs> i don't know what atmosphere she's gonna land on but but she can go she can really just go and so if you, but in here, her voice is very smooth and relaxed, almost very sweet. And then you combine it with a very, very masculine sound. I think that was a very ironic partnership, but it really, really works. So you have three elements now. You have a lyrics. You have this, her, her lyrics that is talking about something strong, something really powerful. And, and then you have her voice, because she's singing it in a very sweet manner. You have that softness there. Um, and then you have a very masculine, dominant instrument that is being used. So that was a very interesting combination. And then there's the simplicity in in the layers. There's There are a lot of songs that would put so many layers of instruments and of sounds and 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 other things that they just throw in there and one is not necessarily better than the others this that it certainly works a, a complicated um, arrangement of music works just fine it's not about what you use or what you don't use it's all about whether or not you can actually make it work so it's I'm not saying that a simple you know, a simple set of instrument is better than the complicated ones or multi-layered ones. I'm not saying that. 
so but here it works for her she i don't know i think it's a conscious effort because if you listen to just the background music without the the voice it's almost as if you can hear everything that's in there like i i know i i'm not a producer so go easy on me but it feels like there was a bass and there was a percussion 15, 15, you can hear everything that is playing in there there's not a single instrument in there that you won't be able to recognize with your just by listening to it even when they transition from one part of the song to another when they're bridging two different parts they would drop the percussions and the bass and allow that single instrument that serves as the lead into the next part of the song to carry the song in the next part and so even that you hear you can hear it in this part okay i hope you get that but you see how everything else dropped the bass and the percussion and then it's just that single element that bridges it into the next section it's very clean again i think it's very consistent with what they what he she's who she is as a creator she wants her message clear she wants her message very streamlined she doesn't want to leave anything for um, she doesn't want anybody to misinterpret what she's saying and the same thing is true when she's creating music she doesn't want you to read something that is not there she doesn't want you to miss anything and she doesn't want you to think that something's there when it's not and then there's the melody the the sheer melody it's it's very laid back i feel like you know usually when you there are songs that that escalates into that leads into a highlight no different from a movie it will lead to a highlight i was i thought she was going to follow the same formula but she was consistent the entire song she was as i've said she was very laid back and the beat was very laid back it was very consistent she never even in her delivery she was never she never got to a point when she was hot she was angry or she was over eager to deliver the message or she was, she was commanding she was just easy yeah. she was just there like a queen she was delivering her message telling everybody this is how i live her life my life and it works for me and if you want you can live, it, live your life this way too um i think that is an important part that is an important element i think what is not there is just as important as what is there and what is not there is the shouting or the yelling or the screaming there is no anger there is no bitterness there is no existential question that's just her expressing her appreciation for how she has lived her life and the things that she has been able to achieve just the ironic relationship between the main instrument that was used which are, which are the drums and the the percussion sorry the percussions and the bass um and then that's juxtaposed against a very laid-back melody and a very soft voice but again a very masculine or very strong message of independence of living your life and just loving loving yourself all of those i think it's a very synchronized uh movement of elements that created such a very very beautiful song uh, it's very addicting. It's not something that will will want you to go into war or battle. It's just a song that'll make you feel happy and feel relaxed and make you feel inspired. I wouldn't call it a perfect song. I think just like any other artist, she is going to go through phases in trying to discover her voice, how in, in, she's going to evolve, and maybe she's going to be totally different in her next album or her next song. Who knows? so I, I think there's still a lot left for improvement but this song is as good as it gets and i do like it and i hope everybody listens to it and um i can't wait for her next single